Good morning, people of YouTube. Saturday. Saturday morning, right? I'm going up to see my children in a bit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good morning, Bobby. Oh, yeah. Bobby Stoker. So, yeah. It's fucking kalimba, man. This is a truly beautiful instrument. I only made that video late at night last night. But, uh, this is awesome. It's like a, it's a coconut. Fucking smooth down. I just can't get over the ornateness of it all. You know, like it's just, uh, it's beautiful. It's very simple, but it's it's really beautiful, you know. But uh, I'm going out, gonna find my girl, gonna go to the store, buy some Thunderbird, then we're gonna find a place where we can be alone, we're gonna start drinking till it's all gone. Thunderbird ESQ I love you more than I love you Thunderbird ESQ I love you more than I love you I said, baby, what's wrong with you? You look like you drank too much ESQ. Well, I looked you home. I left you lying by the door. I got back in my car and I drank some more. Thunderbird ESQ I love you more than I love you Thunderbird ESQ I love you more than I love you Gotta get your kicks in, man. Yep. Can even play blues on a kalimba. But, uh, yeah, so that's kind of cool. And, you know, I'm very fucking grateful to my roommate, Kelsey, for buying me this. I was very thoughtful of her. And uh, I'm very, very grateful. So, very cool. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I... Um, you can't really see. You can kind of see behind me here. I dug up. A, I found a bunch of my old art <laughs> uh, yesterday, and so I hung it up. I have a painting over on my wall over there that's like the size of a door uh, that I did. I I um I believe it's a little known fact these days that back in the Back in the 90s, I actually had quite a lucrative, uh, I, I did quite well as a painter uh, for a guy who knows nothing about art and knows nothing about painting, just likes making a mess on canvas, because that's, that's all it is to me, is throwing paint around on a canvas, you know, but 
But I used to sell my paintings. I used to sell them for fucking, I think the... I think the most I ever got for a painting was 500 bucks. And, uh... But yeah, I sold a, I sold a few paintings for... For pretty good money. You know? Anywhere between 50 and $500, I guess. Um... Usually in the, somewhere in the middle of there, you know, but, but, uh, yeah, I, I used to do quite well as a painter and, uh, I the way I always painted was I would paint on raw canvas, uh, like not primed, just raw, raw canvas. And, uh, I used acrylic paint, which is how I would get away with not priming the canvas. Um, uh, and yeah, I would just, uh, my favorite, my favorite way to paint was really large, really large pieces of canvas, like four by seven or four by eight or whatever. Um, big pieces of canvas. Uh, I just used to go buy a few yards of it kind of thing. And that was my chunk of canvas for a painting. And, uh. Yeah, and uh, fucking, it was great fun, man. Until you know, now, now I don't do it because I, I just plain and simple can't afford art supplies. You know, I can't afford canvas. I can't afford all that paint. Uh, it's expensive stuff, you know, and uh, brushes, you know, and uh, I just I don't really have the room to do it. Like I, I guess I could make room in here, but. It's this is the this isn't this is a good music studio, but not a good painting studio. Mm -hmm. But uh, what was I gonna say on that? Here's a little painting I did. Uh, I did this one. I don't know when I did it. Probably 1994, I'd say. Yeah, it was just a little painting. This is kind of like that a good idea of what my larger paintings look like on a small scale. I'm, you know, there's no real, I'm not a painter. Like I'm not a, I don't know anything about fucking art. Right. I failed my art class in high school. I remember my grade 10 art teacher, which is the last year I took art in high school. Um, I got a 33 out of a hundred in the, in the course that year. And my teacher, uh, took me aside to tell me of my poor, I think I had the worst mark in the class, and uh, um, but my teacher took me aside and she said, Patrick, I want you to know that one day you're going to be a great artist, but I got a failure because <laughs> you're, you know, I was, I, you know, I, I, I could never color in the lines, kind of thing. You know, my favorite painters, like, when it when it comes down to art, like, I have, I know a little bit about art. And I've been to a lot of art galleries. I've been to the Van Gogh Museum. I've been to the Louvre. Uh, I can't even remember. My ex-wife and I toured Europe and uh, went to a bunch of art galleries over in Europe. And uh, the National Art Gallery in Canada is in Ottawa is, my, is actually my favorite gallery I've ever been to, though. Simply because they have one room uh, that's dedicated to abstract expressionism, which is my absolute favorite style of painting. Big color fields, you know, painters like, like my favorite painter of all time is Mark Rothko. I love Marth Roth Mark Rothko. If you Google up, Google up, uh, Mark, Google him up, <laughs> get some images, see what he's all about. Uh, yeah, Mark Rothko is definitely my favorite painter ever um and i like uh i like francis bacon a lot he's different he uh, you know i don't think he's a see i was thing i don't um uh, okay my favorite painting of all time uh caused a huge controversy in canada when it when the national gallery purchased it for i think it was three million dollars um it's an enormous painting uh, that's seriously like this, you know, like here's a person, here's the painting kind of thing. Right. 
um, called Voice of Fire. And all it is is one blue stripe, a red stripe down the middle, and another blue stripe, all equally. Uh, it's like it's just like three very linear, long colors, you know, red, blue, or blue, red, blue, you know. It's very simple. It's like one of those paintings you think, my fucking son could have done that in five minutes. But then when you see it, <laughs> it fucking, I was, I was shook. I, I actually, it, it, it made my heart fucking pound when I saw it. I thought it was so amazing, you know. So yeah, that's the kind of art I like. Stuff like Barnett Newman, Mark Rothko, Jackson Pollock, um, There's, there's, a uh, fuck. I'm thinking of another, see, this is the thing, I don't know that much about it. Anyway, that's gonna, abstract expressionism is my favorite genre of art. I'm also a little big fan of all those, like, like, there was one room in, uh, in their National Art Gallery, it's nothing but paintings that are just solid black canvases, but each one's a little different, you know, and I really dig that, you know, I really like that perspective. I don't think, Art has to be like a finely drawn picture of a of a person, or you know, in photographic detail. That's what I like about painting, is composed to, or as opposed to uh, photographs. Is if you want a photograph, take a photograph. If you want a painting, let your emotions out, you know, and uh, do it how you're going to do it. Like anything, like I always say with any any kind of art, do it how you're going to do it. Speak in your own voice, and do the best with what you got, you know, um, Hillary sent me some oil pastels to get me back on my, my art game. And I'm going to get on that. I'm just, I got to get something good to draw on. <laughs> so that's what's, uh, I, yeah, I need, I need something good to draw on. But, uh, yeah, I used to get my canvases, like one way, a good way of getting canvases, pretty large canvases, but not huge was, uh, getting old newspaper bags from the Peterborough Examiner, like old canvas paper delivery bags, and just fucking rip them apart with a seam stripper. Got a big-ass piece of canvas. says Peterborough Examiner on one side, but it's a good, thick, heavy canvas, you know what I mean? So that's a good way to find canvas, is paper delivery bags. Little tip from the meth in a town. All right. Well, this video has gone on a lot longer than I expected it would. So, I hope you all have a good weekend. Um, I'll probably be back later. I'm 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 kind of around this weekend, but I'm going to see my kids today. But I'm kind of around this weekend. So, anyway, nobody's watching these videos anyway, but, but maybe somebody will. So, if you do, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Uh... Have a fucking awesome day. Be well. Stay free. And I will see you next time in the meth end of town.